Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to the Pleasant Hill Missionary Baptist Church, 1636 North of Masters here in the wonderful Pleasant Grove area. I pastor the Reverend Kenan L. Tennyson. This is our morning worship experience. Thank God for you who are in the building. Thank God for those who are able to connect with us online. We have a baptism this morning. <laughs> Father, we thank you and we praise that you bless us to be in your house just one more time. May all that we say and do bring nothing but glory, honor, and praise to your holy and righteous name. In Jesus' name, amen. Take me to the water. you're in the soul saving business father we thank you that your word says heaven rejoices when every time a soul is saved you get the glory honor and praise in jesus name come on those who agree shouted amen
Hallelujah. You may be seated in this presence. The month of February is Black History Month, and we have uh, our Black History presentations this morning. Amen. Hey, Robert, can you turn this mic on? I don't think the people can hear me. It's on? Amen. Amen. Let's say amen as they come with our presentation. There's always next year. <laughs> okay? And I'm here to help. This piece is called How to Properly Flirt with Someone You're Attracted to and Want to Make Your Boobs. <laughs> <clears throat> over here with my heart. <laughs> you smell good. What's that? Forever? <laughs> you make me want to eat my words and spit out my spine. I'll abandon all my offers for you. Baby, can I call you baby? No? Okay. <laughs> you got me blushing rainbow. You got me wanting to share the other half of my sandwich. <laughs> if I was a spider, I would web for you, have millions of your babies, and then eat you. Mm -mm, no. <clears throat> If I was a caterpillar, I would shoot through everything just to be a butterfly in your stomach. Yeah. A chrysalis. Mm -hmm. I'd break through all this hard for you. I was an actress once, a lion tamer. I was even a magician. I'd stop planning my escape for you. Stop bad mouthing love and believe that I found love in myself and found even more in you. <laughs> you make me want to figure out how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? <laughs> if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> when I'm with you, I know things that hurt don't have to. Us survival women, we're used to building walls and making our bodies a fort. We're used to surviving wars and our constant state of evolution. Won't you ride with me? Won't you hip hop and jazz with me? Won't you be like Tully Punk Rock and scream, I love you, with me? When I'm with you, my pulse is a hummingbird. My body is a parachute reminding me that we are not meant to live alone, nor is my heart remote and stable. Can we go to the seasons together? So what if November comes? I still won't bloom, and I won't change. So what if my milkshake brings all of ways to the yard? <laughs> Khalif fans, uh, yeah, because <laughs> I can teach too, but I have to charge. Wait a minute, come back. <laughs> you make my heart an adobe home. Even when they try to earthquake us or loose, I'll be mud brick and stand strong. You are in a dream I'm having a hundred years from now. You keep telling me you'll be you and allow me to call you mine. Yo, I squeeze your pimples and shave your back for you, son. <laughs> Some of y'all 
making faces like you ain't never did that for somebody <laughs> or they ain't never asked you to do that. But I'm here to tell you, if you got your face twisted, you better check yourself because that, that might be why you alone. You're a little bit selfish, just a little bit. <laughs> okay? Anyway, you remind me that there are easier ways to do things. I just never took the time to do it. I forget to be afraid when I'm with you. So I'm saying, like, can we be an item, a pair? Can we, like, share space and stuff? <laughs> no? You know. Okay. <laughs> I met the young lady that wrote that piece 15 years ago. She was just getting started in her spoken word career, and since then, she has become an international touring poet, writer, and performance artist. As one of the most decorated poets in Texas, she is from Houston. She is a respected coach and mentor, one of the top touring poets in the country, and the 2017 Woman of the World Poetry Slam champion. She has performed in 49 states at over 200 colleges and universities, and she has been featured internationally in Canada, Australia, Ghana, and Norway. She is the author of three books and an award-winning playwright, and her name is Ebony Stewart. My dad named me after his favorite Philly dance song. My older brother and I followed his lead with Fred and Dusty Ball. I currently play center for the Las Vegas Aces, the current back-to-back -back WNBA champion. I have been blessed to earn more awards than I have time to mention from my years playing in high school until this day. At the age of 27 years old, I am an Olympic gold medalist, a two-time All-Star team champion, a two-time WNBA MVP, a two-time WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, a five-time All-Star, and the 2023 WNBA Finalist MVP, just to name a few. When it comes to b-ball, I am smooth with it. Although I am busy off the court as well, I funded Burnt Wax Candle Company and business is booming. I also established a foundation in my name that advocates for preventing bullying and educating around dyslexia, a condition that I struggle with, yet despite my being dyslexic, you probably seen me on TV promoting my book that I wrote named Dear Black Girls. I wanted, to, I wanted black girls to know that they can achieve their goals without abandoning their principles. My name is Asia Wilson, and to all the black girls out there, remember, if you see her, you can be her. I'm a 14-year-old ninth grader at W.T. Wilson High School in Annadale, Virginia, who was given the chance to compete in the 2023 3M Young Scientist Challenge. I was paired with my very own 3M mentor to help bring my idea to life. Um, help bring, uh, my fault. What did I cone up with? Nothing special. I just invented a soap that treats melanoma. You know, skin cancer, the compound base bar I developed is more affordable with production costs of only 50, 50 percent, I mean 50 cents per bar. And it, and it will more, it will be more accessible than traditional treatments. Oh yeah, as y'all probably guessed, I did win the competition. I was named America's top young scientist. I plan to use my winnings to start my own nonprofit organization focused on distributing the soap to the communities who need it most. My name is Heman Beckley. Good morning, Texas. Good morning. 
at the young age of 14, I was infamous ar across the country just for being at the wrong place at the wrong time. I was one of the Central Park Five. And although we were wrongly accused, we were hated nationwide. Heck, your former president took, a, took out a million dollars worth of ads in the paper calling for our execution. I spent seven years in prison for something I didn't do. And it took more than five years <coughs> for my conviction to be vacated. We won 141 year, I'm sorry, we won $41 million <coughs> settlement against the city, New York City. Now we're <coughs> the exonerated five and the faces of criminal justice reform. The way we were railroaded because of the color of our skin is the reason why I became a champion for justice in the Harlem community. I am an advocate and educator on issues of mass incarceration, police brutality and misconduct, press ethics and bias, race and law, and the disparities in the criminal justice system, especially for men of color. I am also a published author and my new position will allow me to help my community even more. In November of last year, I beat out veteran <coughs> New York State Assembly members, Inez Dickens and Al Taylor, winning the New York City 9th District City Council seat. The people have spoken, my people have spoken, and they have given me a second chance. My name is Yusuf Salam, and I am meant to be here, so are you. My father was a former slave and my mother was a railroad cook. I'm sure neither of them had any idea of the impact their daughter would have. When I first began teaching, it was in a one room school in Shady Grove located in Monroe County. This was just after I graduated from Tennessee A&I in Nashville, now known as Tennessee State University. With two years of teaching under my belt, I moved to Knoxville where I noticed a lack of early training available to black youth. That is where I got the idea to start my kitty college, with a K, at Ebenezer Baptist Church. I ran the school for 20 years, but I felt like it wasn't enough. Using the absence of educational opportunities for our youth as my platform, I ran for and won the election that made me the first black member of the Knoxville City School Board. Early childhood training was instituted in all city schools within my first year in office. Oh, but I didn't stop there. As a former state and local president of the NAACP, I was on the front line in the fight for desegregation and civil rights in our community. My diplomatic approach allowed me to gather support across the color lines, whether it was a sit-in or city officials and business owners negotiating. At 102 years old, I went on to be with the Lord, but I made sure to leave instructions in my last will and testament to sell all of my worldly possessions and use the proceeds to establish a foundation in my name. Its purpose is to provide funding for underachieving children programs. Who am I? I am Dale Miller's great aunt. I am Sally Moore Green. <laughs> Thank y'all for paying attention, and yeah, hope y'all learned something.
Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. The Lord our God. Yeah. How many know he's worthy? Oh, come on. How many know God is worthy to be praised? If I had 10,000 tons, I couldn't thank him enough. than me. Yeah, he's worthy to be praised. Oh, my God. My God. We started last Sunday on steps to greatness. The steps to it. Amen. And, and I didn't come the way you thought I was coming. Last week, we talked about haters. The only way you can get to your greatness is you got to have haters. Don't get mad when haters come. They come for a reason. Today we're going to talk about uh, 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 envious. You got to have envy. Has to be in place for you to step out into your greatness. Yeah, they got to they gotta envy you. They got to get mad. <sighs> If they ain't nobody bothering you, man, you don't get to be who you are. You're, some of y'all losing your mind because life happening, but that's the only way we're going to get you out of that thing, man. Right. Let, let, let's read. Let's read Genesis 37, verse 5 through 11. Joseph had a dream. There it is. Joseph chapter 37, verse 5 through 11. Joseph had a dream. All right. When he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. Uh-oh. He said, listen to this dream I had. We were all out in the field gathering bundles of wheat. All of a sudden, my bundle stood straight up, and your bundle circled around it and bowed down to mine. You're going to worship me. Well, that we told him. Y'all going to bow down to me. His brother said, so. You're going to rule us. Yeah, I do know I'm reading from the message Bible. I'm reading from the message, I mean message Bible. Because that message is messy. 
So you're going to rule us. You're going to boss us around. And they hated him more than ever because of his dream and the way he talked. Then he had another dream. And told this one also to his brothers. I dreamed another dream. The sun and the moon and even in, in 11 stars bowed down to me. When he told it to his fathers and brothers, his father reprimanded him. What, what, what's with all the dreaming? Am I and your mother and your brothers all supposed to bow down to you? Now, his brothers were really jealous. But his father brooded over the whole business. He thought he internalized. Come on. I'm just, yeah, I told y'all we're going to talk about steps to greatness. Number two is envy. All right. You may be seated. People must envy you so we can get to the real you. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy because this is the type of Christ calling. J- J- Joseph is symbolic of the type of Christ. He's going to come and redeem the world, and here he is. Uh, the brothers don't even know that they're going to be put into a situation that if it had not been for their brother, they wouldn't even eat. Some of your people that hate you the most are going to be, you're the reason why they're going to live. You're going to set your family members free. You're going to be the one that break the generational curse. You'll be the one that will change the last name and give it some meaning. And the people that are going to hate it the most are the ones that are going to eat the most. The same ones that's envying you, Sister Kaya, are the ones that are going to eat because you stood the test of time. And I, I talk about this because we, we, we trip out as believers, wonder why life happened the way it happened. It's supposed to happen that way. It's, God's ways ain't our ways. His thoughts ain't our, our thoughts. His, 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 as far as we can believe, he said, that ain't nothing compared to what I got for you. All right. And here we are sitting here getting caught up with people. You had the baby at 12. Well, yeah, yo, tell me, yo, if you go back and do the math, your mama had your oldest sister when she was 12. Come on. We're writing off people. All right. We're telling people who ain't going to be nothing. And, yeah. and, and that person you said ain't going to be nothing is the one that is something. Yeah. Look at this text. They didn't like Joseph because Jacob loved him. Jacob loved Joseph. That was Rachel's boy. He had him when he was old. I don't know what the ego is about that. He's old, still producer. Y'all get that on the way to the house. He had a special place in his heart for old Joe. All right. But so did God. In the old days, he gave you dreams and dreams and visions. Now he just talked to you. All right. And, and, and you got to be careful with these dreams and visions today because a lot of it ain't God. Uh oh. They, they ain't been more. Got God in it in the man in the moon, but we we fallen people. You know, the Lord told me, see, don't tell me the Lord told you something. We're gonna do it. I done did marriages, everything you tell. The Lord told you to do that, it overrules me. Let's see who lying. You are God. And if you tell the truth, it's gonna come out like God said it's gonna come out. And if you lying, you're gonna be the one that's supposed for that lie. But here God just gave this boy a vision. Two of them. I'm going to buy down to me. You're you going to worship. You're going to worship. Then, 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 he said, I'm going I'm to have all these bundles, and mine's going to stand straight up, and then you're going to wrap your bundles around me to make me be the leader of the bunch. All right. Older people, be careful when young people speak to you. God might be speaking through them to you. Amen. Young people don't think an old person can't tell you nothing. Because they might be speaking to you. Yeah. I was looking at this. Y'all look at me. This. The author of the 14th century preachers, Matthew, wrote that envy was the most precious daughter of the devil. <laughs> envy 
is the most precious daughter of the devil because it's, it follows his footsteps by hindering good and promoting evil. All right. The author might have added that envy has a sister named Malice. And the two usually work together. Envy causes inward pain when we see others succeed. Let me, let me, let me help you. Envy causes inward pain when we see others succeed. And malice produces inward satisfaction when we see others fail. Right. You envy for somebody when you have pain because they succeeding. And then malice say, I'm rejoicing at your family. The, the sister. These, these church folk. These, these your family members. These, these, this your mama. Your daddy, your daughter, your sister. You, it's, 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 it's how we roll, it's how sin abounds, and, and we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. These spirits don't go anywhere, yeah. all right? They stay here, but what are you going to do? Does it make you, or does it break you? And the truth be told, a lot of you are broken because of something you love, says something negative. You're craving acceptance when you've been accepted. See, see, you're craving acceptance, but God has accepted you. Joseph was the son of my character. All right. So why are you? Joseph heard what God said, and that was that call. And I'm going to tell everybody what he told me. Because that's what's going to keep me when you ain't there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, y'all better be. See, you know why the world, you know why the room sleep? Because you ain't got no dreams. You know why the room sleep? Because you're sitting there pondering, what am I doing? You're sitting here looking for somebody to validate you. You've already been validated. Yeah. If you just get found guilty doing what he told you to do, the world will be a better place. You quit questioning yourself because your mom don't understand. She couldn't read. You question what, 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 what God done told you. Now you know you heard him. Yeah. Well, Didn't you? Yeah. Now you losing your mind because mama don't understand. She can't understand. He didn't talk to her. He, he didn't talk. Listen, some of y'all, some of y'all better understand. When God speaks, he's speaking to you. All right. It don't matter what the outside person said because they didn't hear the conversation. This wasn't a Snapchat. Right. This wasn't a vocal. This wasn't a conference call. This was an intimate conversation where he revealed to you what you're supposed to be doing. That's called purpose. Most of you sitting here don't have a purpose. You're just going through life. One of the names is through life. We'll figure it out. No, that ain't what God, God ain't a God that just figures things out. Every person that's created was created to solve a problem. You are not just here to be here. The problem is you haven't heard what he told you you were here for, so you in my lane trying to tell me how to do my job. You're getting ran the hell over because you can't drive the lane. Oh, God taught me. He probably do talk to you. He ain't going to talk to you about this place because he didn't put you over this place. He put me over this place, and what you're talking about, they don't have a damn thing to do what we're talking about. You just want to be important, and he ain't even talking to you. And then they got it. Then envy shows up. People hate because you ain't doing it the way they say you say you should do. It. See, I'm not the preacher. Everybody want me to be. That's why he put me here, not there. Yeah. And I got a whole bunch of enemies that envy me because they see things moving. They wonder how could God do that with me and not do it with you because I'm doing what He told me to do. And I appreciate you hating. I pre I appreciate you envying me. I appreciate you hoping. You have an inward joy that I that I that I that I don't succeed, that, that I have problems. You have malice, you get mad, you have peace when I fail. You have envy, you get mad when I don't make it. Now I thank you for being that trashy person you are, because that trash is what brings out this fear. 
Everything that's built is messy before it's built. Everything is mess. Okay, y'all go get your hair done. And they go to cutting it. It's, it's her all over the floor. Am I in there? You got to sit there with that little old, that little old uh, uh, lie in your head called a perm. And you don't get the roots. You just get the roots. Don't get the ends. You just get the roots. Just get the roots. So you got to part it and get it and let it sit there. You're looking like oomph boom boom for a few minutes. But guess what you said? It's going to be better in a minute because my roots won't be nappy. It will be processed. Oh, God. Some of y'all looking at your life and think it's over. No, it's just messy right now because you're about to step in the assignment that God has given you and he let people show up to try to discourage you to show you that God is still with you. Walked in this 16 years ago, I didn't know what I was doing, and you know what I was doing. But he told me what I was going to do. But God knew. But you know how many haters I had? Feel y'all still sitting here. I appreciate you. I, I really do appreciate you hating me because I thank you for sitting there because God said he'll make your head as your footstool. See, the only way I get up is that you sit down. Uh-oh. So keep hanging out. Keep listening. Keep logging in. Keep logging in. Keep sitting on row two on the left. And hate on what's going on because you're hating because you don't understand what God is doing. That's right. That's right. Laura number five and 498. 498 people. See, number 498 people I've baptized since I've been here. Two from 500. Two people from 500 people being baptized and accepting Jesus as their person. See, you looking at my outfit, I'm looking at them numbers. Who's coming? See, he didn't put me here to worry about numbers. He, see, numbers don't count to God. God make numbers count. I don't care who don't sit in the pew, but are their hearts being changed and converted? Are their names in the Lamb's Book of Life? Because it can be five of y'all here and God can sit two million, or it can be a thousand y'all here and he don't sit nothing. Then God ain't much and just show you him. Let me tell y'all where y'all struggle at. Let me tell you where we struggle at as people. We're looking for big blessings. And you missed the small one. We were, we were in church. We were in class yesterday. It's free. We were in class yesterday, and, and, and we were sitting there thinking. Uh, they were sitting there. Joy said, Woo! I sure need me a, 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 a hash brown. I'm like, oh, my Joy, you always act like you're a vegan. So you you know, we score in that class. And so, so we were sitting there, and, and, and I didn't even ask for nothing and got something. Hey. Mm. Mm. Y'all will get that on the way to the house. I, I didn't even ask for nothing, and some came for me. See, see, I was teaching a lesson about uh, uh, increasing your self-worth, and, 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 and we're so busy trying to get, and we miss what God is giving. Uh-oh. You so busy trying to get the baggage, God's trying to give you the bag. Uh-oh. So while we were sitting in class, Yesterday, God sent her to the store for me. Twenty-four hours before, God sent her to the store for me. Then got up that morning and said, "Go to the store and get ten hash browns and ten sausage biscuits." Got to the class, there were ten people in class. We didn't have to go get nothing. God was giving out. Y'all, listen. Let me, yeah, I know, I know y'all struggling this morning. God has already mapped this thing out. Do you hear what I'm saying? He needs people to envy you. That's the only way you see him. Envy has a sister named Malice, and the two usually work together. Envy causes, Kyler, inward pain when we see you succeed. Who she thinks she is? What color hair is that? Who, who? 
What's the color? Six fifty. What's the color? Is it blonde? Just, who she thinks she is with that blonde hair? Platinum. You can see it in your eyes. You mad because you don't think it'll look that good on you. Was your sister, sister Kai, was your 613 too? Like that? <laughs> was, sister, sister, was it 613 like that? No, it ain't no secret. He walking. <laughs> well, he walking. He up the road. Oh, 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 oh. She put on a different color wig last night. He thought he had somebody totally different. <laughs> <laughs> I just watch this. After 43 years of marriage, she spiced it up a little bit. Oh there you go. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. There you go. 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 But watch this. It brought greater out of him. Y'all ain't back. Y'all. This boy had a vision. What your dream at? What your dream, man? What you doing? You just sitting around here like a bump on the law. You ain't got nothing. You ain't doing nothing. You look like you ain't got nothing going on. And we serve a holy God. You don't look like he got you doing nothing. That's why you always mean mugging folk. You just, you just, girl. When you and other people busy, see, if you busy doing your thing, you don't have time to worry about what I'm doing. See, see, the problem is, the problem with the believer, we ain't busy doing the work of God. You go buy your wig. But you won't witness. You'll sing a song, but you won't praise. There's a big difference, y'all. This man, greatness is going to come out of him. But his family hated him. Let me have this free. Don't give me what God gives nobody else. That's just because I promise you, when you get to them and you meet them and you understand what them is going through, you'll pick yours back up. See, you'll be like, you know what, God, forgive me for worrying about Donna. Give me mine back because I couldn't handle what Donna going through. What you envying? Hello. You don't know what it takes to do this. See, all y'all got to come and use me since y'all always talk. You always, always want to tell me what I'm doing. You can't beat me. Don't want to be. Well, quit talking like you want to be then. You always got something to say. I can't sleep if I wanted to. No more praying for you. I want to chill, Portia. She said, no, I'll pray for Portia. I want to lay back. No, I'll go over there and help Tara today. So she can have a car and quit on it. She, she was about to panic yesterday. She about to, I, I, I said, I ain't said nothing. He said, yes, you did. I said, I ain't said nothing. He said, get on out there. She's sitting there talking about. <laughs> I'm sitting there talking about. I didn't want to say nothing, but it's on me. Yeah, go, push, go, go give me some water. 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 Put some water in there. I said, okay, now, Lord, you got to show me. I said, now, no water coming over here, but I don't see it. He said, pour a little bit more, pour a little more water. Here he is, right here. Right at him. She mad because she wanted to go play some bingo or something. Well, a little old stash had to be spilling that radiator. I made a call. I said, hey, man, can you help me out? He said, I'm going to take care of your people. This is what I'm going to try to put it on. She had it. Yeah. See, you envying me. You don't know what I got. See, I got to push through persecution to get you to see what this is. I got to, to deal with your 
talking, you don't know what you're talking about. Looking past you. And still do what he say do. Joseph say, man, this is going to be big. Hey, y'all, whatever God has you to do, it's going to be big. So the enemy would do all he can on the front end to show hatred and envy from people you're expecting to be on your side. They ain't there. You know how long it is being a dreamer? When you got a plan and you got a vision, it's lonely because everybody don't see it. It don't make sense. Can I, can I bless the game? You question it every now and then. You be talking about, now, God, hold on, God. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You want me to do what? You got me doing what? He said, don't worry about that. He got to give it to you, Donna, to keep you engaged when all the pressure comes. If you don't have a, if you don't see the vision clear, listen, you're a crack. I was, I, I was having a meeting on uh, Tuesday just to talk about, you know, what's going on and went to the guys and they was initially uh, shooting it down. Mm. I said, yes, what you're supposed to do. You, he ain't talking to you, he talking to me. Okay. And I started telling the story with Donna how it's going to work. How God's been moving, how he's already moving it. How it's going to change. This is, listen to me. This is going to be life changing. No, no, no. This is going to be trend setting, world changing. The, 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 the little hood church. Yeah, the little hood church. Where you, where, where, yeah, where, yeah, the little hood church where ain't no millionaires in here that ain't, ain't nobody stood up. Not yet. Ain't nobody got, ain't nobody sitting on a, ain't nobody sitting on a cash. Uh, 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 sitting on a stack of cab, but they're standing on their faith. Okay, they're, they're trusting. They're, they're 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 hearing the voice of the preacher. Uh oh, they're still coming even when they don't want to come. Some of them are still hating, and some of them got a little envious in the spirit, but they still keep coming because you gotta have y'all to birth this. Boys, I got to talking to me and said, you know what, I see that. I can see that happening. I, I can see that. I said, you, the vision, the story is what's got me. Let me tell you what's changing this church, this community. You don't even see it. That little old sign we put out there changed this community. Yeah. One lady said, we know somebody's here to stay. When you put the sign up, see, y'all sitting here looking at stuff that don't matter. Mm. The woman told you the first time she came, she said, great church, powerful preacher. The problem is the people ain't listening to the man. If they ever hear the man, if they ever listen to the man, they will dominate the arena, man, because... I'm on a. Do you understand? He woke me up and told me to get over here. Yeah. He knew you was going to be broke down, busting, disgusting, and sent you over here to be a part of something great. Oh he committed, he, he, he connected the dots together, Donna, and to let all of us that never saw God move in a miraculous way, we get to watch him move in our lives and through our lives so that we can tell our grandkids, go over there because this a whole church. This is what brought me. See, ain't nobody pointing back to the church no more. Everybody pointing to weed. Everybody pointing to pornography. Everybody pointing to the social media. Ain't nobody pointing to God no more. I've been standing on God. I'm still standing on God. Joshua and I, this book of the law said not to point out of their mind, but that shall meditate day and day and night, that they observe to do all that is with their end. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. You still talk about everything else but this word. That's all we need, man. That's all we need. How you know that's all we need? Because that's all he left, huh? He left his word, man. That'll give you life when you're dying. He left his word done that'll keep you when you want to throw in the towel. He left his word that will encourage you when you feel down. And he just opened the word to say, appreciate the haters and know people going to hinder you because those are part of the steps that I use for your greatness. For you. No pain, no gain. I ain't never had a baby, but the pain the women said is or something else. When they get through pushing that baby out the first thing, they say, oh. The pain 
It was. The pain made you see that baby different. Oh, here I come, here I come. The pain of going through the stuff to get to the dream make you see the dream different. If I just gave it to you, you wouldn't appreciate it. You want to lose weight, but you won't stop eating. No, you got to put some skin in the game. You want a million dollars, but you don't want to go to work on the part-time job. It's people. What's your name, Ayana? What's your name, Ayana? Ayana, it's people hating on you, girl. They envy. They have inward <laughs> envy <laughs> causes inward pain when they they get mad. Because you still smiling. Who, how, who she thinks she is? Don't you like a baby? Shut up. Look at that. You know how to baby? Well, you had your baby. You're going to lose your baby back. You're laughing, but this is how this really go. Who sh she done had a baby. What? What? Is, what? Who she thinks she is? Getting back to a zero, and she done had a baby. I'm using the baby. Put whatever you want to put there. You mad because they're succeeding. That, that is, isn't that pitiful? You're mad because they're succeeding. I love Haiti. Let me let you look at what it looks like. Let me let you look at this thing. Because I appreciate you hating because I'm finna. See, every hater is a step, step up, Carla. All right. Every listen. Every hater elevates you. Every hater lifts you to the platform. Y'all gonna shout with me in a minute. Every hater, man, but every hater lifts you to the platform where your next set of blessings are. What you mad at haters for? Indeed, they're not the haters. They got envious spirits about you. They mad cause you succeeding. And then when you have a set, they knowledge kicked in, and they rejoice because you die. But let me tell you this. It didn't stop Joseph from telling you what God said. Yeah. <laughs> See, some of y'all or letting this stuff stop you. I'm just trying to say, some, well, maybe God didn't tell you. Yeah, he told you that. Don't you let people that are designed to push you stop you. Those people were designed to push you, not stop you. We let them stop us. No. Amen, baby. That's what you feel? Come on. Keep on talking, baby. Keep on. See, when you start maturing, when God starts showing you, it starts manifesting, and it starts coming to pass. You know what you'll be saying? Oh, come on. That's all you got. Hit me with your best shot. Okay. Fire your way. That's all you got? That check coming to me, I don't call them. That contract is signed. That door is open. That breakthrough happens. All while they envy and hate and got malice. Too much. That's too much. 
That's why y'all be so tired. That's why y'all, y'all be so tired. Y'all come here and go sleep. Wow. Because you're tired. Because you've been trying to do this your own. Uh, <laughs> and, and you will, you will, you will mess up. Say mess up. It's, it's part of it. The, 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 this, this, these boys said, these boys said, who you think you is? See, see, Nehemiah said, who do you think you is? See, next week we're going to talk about violence. See violence. When you start, when you, when you, on your way to greatness, people get violent. They throw you in pits. They slander your name. We, 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 just, people, hey, Matt, this straight Bible. You lose the sleep, and the Bible said that what they supposed to do. You tell you ain't reading. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really trying to get you to see, man. You, you're right where you're supposed to be. If you, you got a vision, you got a plan. Just know, it ain't, it ain't nothing wrong. It's part of the plan for people to hate on you. Yeah. All right. It's part of the plan for them to, for them to. <laughs> they have pain when they see you succeed. It make them throw up, and the, they throw up. Well, look at her. Oh. That's envy. Mallow said, I'm rejoicing because you had a setback. And it wouldn't matter what they wow. Wow. And, and, and envy and malice of sisters. Yeah. They hang out. <laughs> envy and malice usually generate slander. And unwarranted criticism. I ain't doing nothing for you to criticize me. You just doing it because you hate me. I ain't doing nothing but what I'm doing. All I do, Carla, Carla Taylor, all I do is fall up in here clean, study my word, back up in my parking spot. Come here and drop this word, tell you where we're going. You can't even have it. Well, the Lord done showed me. He probably showed you something. He ain't going to have to do with this. Because he ain't going to show you nothing where I'm over. He he ain't going to talk to you about this place. I don't care how saved you are. He ain't talking to you about this place. He talks to me, and I talk to you. He'll confirm what I said, but he ain't finna give you no revelation about this place. Because he ain't going to give me no revelation about your place. Wow. Anything with two heads is a tree, and I run mine. Wherever I'm at, I run it. You don't like it? Hit the door. Who run your house? You run yours? And Cameron, who run yours? She told me. Who run who run yours? You. Do you really? No, I got this. Do I, do? I know what you're saying. Yeah, I've got this. <laughs> Isn't it very insulting for me to walk in and tell you how to run your house? So why you don't feel the sucker trying to run him tell me what to do? Right. It should bother you. It's you 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 are appalling. That's why I don't even bother. That's why you don't bother me. I don't care what you think. He ain't talking to you. Cause when I go over Don House, Don say shit right here. Okay. Why? Cause it's Don House. I used to do print work, but God told her to do tailor made different than He told me to do copy station. Both of them are printing. Mind your own business. You know why the church, you know why the church is dying? Because you're in my lane. Y- yesterday, yesterday, somebody said yesterday. yesterday. At the funeral queue, uh, uh, I called my boys. They came in with the sound. I ain't never going, I never went in the sound room. I'm not going to go in there and push buttons. That ain't what I do. 
You know what I went there and got in margin? Where my mic at? I talk. Oh, you can't sit right there, baby. You got to come sit over here. I bring the order. When they was in the kitchen, I didn't tell them how to tell their food. <laughs> Somebody else tried to tell them how to serve it, but guess what? Guess what? Here it comes, Donna. They serve the food the way we serve the food in this place. Amen. Because you and I have. That man was here Sunday, Sunday. He was sitting right there listening to the video of me preaching last week. He, I didn't invite him to word he. Oh, yeah. oh, he said, is this you? I said, yeah, that's me. Is this right, right here? Yeah, he said right back there. Turn along. He said that listen to the whole sermon. Yeah. Four hours. <laughs> and he got up. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. See, 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 hear, 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 hear what I'm trying to tell you. You don't know what God, you don't know, you don't know who God's going to grab. See, because you're open. The Lord say be open to the community. Come on in, community. He may not join the church, but he may have came and got a word today that helps him move on with his life. How you done? Well, now we got to give up pep ready. Come here. Sixty two. No, 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 Sit down. It took practice. Sit, sit down. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, no, I know, Donna. It took working out. Yeah. It's taking eating habits. Right. <laughs> she done raised girls, yeah. grandbabies, yeah. business owner, mm -hmm. homeowner. Hellion, I mean, uh, yeah. All, all of it makes up who she is. But at 62 years old, look at her. She looks great. And that was a time she wouldn't listen to nobody. Now she hear me. Because that's what I was sitting here to do. She used to hate on me. I don't know what my mama was doing, leaving you in charge when you were... The Lord didn't talk to your mama. The Lord didn't talk to you. He talked to your mama because he knew y'all were crazy. You and Wanda. <laughs> God knows. This is the listen, 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 listen. This is the lintage that Jesus is to come in. People done will struggle. When you shout out your dream, yeah. all right. You tell you the main reason why they sh why they struggling, cause they don't have one. Wow. You mean to tell me God gonna give you that canary, and you a hundred he ain't gave you nothing? Yeah. Y'all, do you see? Now, I can holler y'all all through service, and y'all just turn flips and go home, and your light's still cut off. Uh, we got to do something different. Yeah. Right. 
And we got to quit getting tripped up over people that God sent to step you up, not trip you up. You got to know why these people are there. You got to know why this thing rolled like this, Vangela. So when you come up against it, it don't shake you. It actually empowers you. Oh, he said I would see your kind. Now you see the Donna in the flesh. That's how you know. Somebody said, that's how you know. You're on the right track. Haters show up. People get envious spirits and malice sets in, Cam. They're going to talk about it. They're going to be mad. Who does he think he is? Y'all hear me. That baby right here. What, what's your name, baby? I keep forgetting. Put your hat on. She's proof of what faith looks like. Amen. How old are you, baby? She's 13 and can freely walk out her faith. And we're eating because she's eating. God, if you can give a 13-year-old some faith, I can get better in my faith. If she can walk in that pain and not complain, surely I can walk in my pain and not complain. And she got a hand, she got physical pain, and her handicap has not stopped her. You're stopped dead in your track and you have no handicap. She hopped down here, she sold, she hugged, she say hi, she smiled, she called. She do it all. Her mama say, when I want to give up, I look at her and I can't. God Almighty. What is that hip issue? Is what God sent to keep that family close. It was the leg. It was the leg that sent you to the hospital. But they didn't work on the leg. They brought you back to life. So your family now can know God. She was hating on her own self. She, she done got mad. She done got envy. She done got, she got hatred going on. And this for you, homegirl. Don't put the leg on them, dog. Daddy. Yeah. And here's the deal, Donna. They still hadn't fixed the leg. But she walking. She done met God. She spoke at the Women's Day. Her brothers and family's in church. Now she's over Women's Day. Her girls are now here. Her friends. Porsche's here. Look at all these people that are coming to God and hanging out because of your leg. She like, you got to come to church. <laughs> to her answer, talking about God. She's like, no answer who? She got one of them things in my house. She She's straight. <laughs> Angela's straight, pleasant, grow. No, no. no. Well, where are you from? Sad, sad daddy. Pleasant, grow. They, 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 Everybody wants sad daddy. If you over here in the 75227 area code, leave that alone. Same thing. But we'll get with you in the New York sector, on the world side. I said, you, you know me, bro? Recover. Still on the, still on the, still, still on the. The residue is still. You 
know, we were sitting in class that day. Y'all, we, were, we were sitting in class that day, Donna, Carla. And you know, you can wake up in God. Yeah. And before the day, you forgot he even exists. Yeah. You woke up with your mind on Jesus. But before Sunday school was over, your mind was on Leroy. Can I bless y'all today? You know, we've heard the story about... Uh, What's his name? Oh, uh, Peter. He said before the cock crow. Do you know what the cock crowing means? It's a new day. Before the new day comes, you're gonna talk. You're gonna deny me. But by the time the rooster crow, you can get a new start. We, we were sitting in class, Donnie. You know, when he when the text said that Peter denied Jesus, it said he put his hands on the Bible and raised his hands and said, I don't know that man. Cock-a-doo-doo! You, you're missing this. You're missing it. When... when, when he adamantly put his hands on the Bible and raised his hand. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but truth shall help you, God? I do. All I'm, trying to, all I'm trying to get you to see is, but God, you, you got steps to greatness, man. Yeah. Right. This stuff that the devil meant for evil, God will draw it out for good. People think they're coming for you, or y'all, and they bless you if you let them. If you understand how God rolls, what they're saying is not to hurt you, it's to bless you, because what they're saying is what God can't do, and God says, I'm going to do it, to show you that I'm God and they don't know what they're talking about. Ain't that good portion? I, I mean, what do you think about that? They, they trying to tell you, Carla, that God didn't know what he was talking about. And here you are still standing. Anybody here still standing? Did they, they told you, Shema, you wasn't going to be nothing. Still standing. Two babies still growing. No record. Place to call home. Almost both her kids are almost brilliant in the mind. And you, write, you writing your own self off. Because of what somebody That ain't what he say. I don't care how long you've been out there. I'm going to turn you around because there are people that are going to accept God because you accept him. I need you leaving here, Shaniqua Shaw, with your mind on fire for God that God can use you. In and sometimes when you by yourself, it's the best place to be so you can hear God with no distractions. Yeah. Ain't no man laying there. Ain't no woman laying there. You into it with your kids to give you some solitude time. So it's just you and God so you can hear what God is saying to you and watch him keep you in spite of. Where your friends go, they can't go no farther. 
where I'm taking you, they don't have the capacity to breathe on that level. Uh oh, uh, you, you mad? They can't breathe up there. So I'm gonna kill them off before you get there, so you can go. On. So the new friends can meet you there. Call it that can talk your language, that can encourage you. That's on your side. That's rejoicing because both of us are watching God move like only God can move. Everybody that's there don't get to go all the way. They serve their purpose, and when their purpose is over, it ends. Booyah! We got to get this word in us, man. We got to read this word. We got to understand how God rolled, man. God is bad to the bone. God takes care of his own. He said, lo, I be with you always, even until the end of the world. When this time on this side is over, he's still there. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I took thought in making you. I laid your whole life out before me before you ever lived the day of it. I know where you going. I know what I got for you, Desiree. I don't care how you get through it. I'm going to get you where I need you to be. And the detours and the turns and all this kind of stuff I see you through is designed to make you better. Life is like a cruise ship. Pay your money, get your boarding pass, and you on the ship. The ship has a destination. Am I in this thing? And while you're traveling to your destination, you get to do whatever you want to do. Am I in here? You, 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 you live around temptation. Cause you get on there and ain't nobody got on no clothes. What happened? What ain't what ain't clothes? No. They hurry up, get out them clothes and put on them bikinis and stuff. What they doing? The guys take off their shirts and their pants, walk around in their drawers. It's just temptation is everywhere. But the ship keep moving. Uh oh. Even the temptation when you get hungry, you can go eat. You want a drink, you go get you a drink. Yeah. You want a tip, you can tip, because there are some tippers. Yeah. We may never see each other again. We're going to tip on this one. Yeah, yeah. But you still meet your destiny. Storms may come. Yeah. Winds may blow. Yeah. The ride can get rough, but you still. Yeah. You know the first. You know the first thing we say down when we get on the boat. What in the world is that she got on? You know she ain't got on nothing. Come on, yeah, you see her. You know you see her. <laughs> I serve you notice, ain't Margie. I serve you notice. I am one of the, one of the winners of the Big Belly uh, Harry Chess Contest. That's all right. I ain't going to give y'all too much. Y'all be a lot of mind. I won the contest. Can I bless the game? And I still was the pastor when I got off. <laughs> Carla, how do we get to see God if there's no opposition? Misha, how do you know he's how do you know he's real if he ain't never delivered you? Amen. So he had to put you in a situation to deliver you 
for you to know without a shadow of a doubt that God is a deliverer. Can you imagine? I'm going to go. Can you, can you imagine Joseph is this excited and his brother talking about, man, please. Baby, sit down. I mean, he fired up, turned and flipped like I be on Sunday. Y'all be looking at me like, what's wrong with you? how greatness comes out. It's the only way it comes out. Through envious people. Through malice. get the program for uh, 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 spousal abuse if, you, if a woman had never got a beating. That was birth. It was in there. She had to take one more lick to stand up and say, we ain't doing that no more. Some of the big council centers are created because somebody went through something. And it was that situation that they were in that said, boom, we, there's another way out. You sit here and wrote yourself off for your for your situation when you understand that that situation is going to set so many people free because you keep going in spite of what you're going through. kept failing, yeah. there wouldn't be no need for Christ. All right. He makes it all go full of trouble, y'all. We got, hey, man's fall, man's fall is God's, is Christ's uh, present, him being presented. Because yeah. there was no fall, there would be no need for him being presented. All right. If man would do it the way God said do it, he wouldn't need Christ. In Genesis, what we discovered, every time God told them to do something, they went back to their own understanding. God say, I'm sick and tired of going through this with y'all, so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it. The, the Old Testament points to him doing it. The New Testament points back and said, this is what he said he was going to do, so now we're doing it. It's not contradiction. It's fulfilling Old Testament points to him. New Testament points back to what they were saying. Yeah. Isaiah talked about Jesus 700 years before he got here. 700 years, Sister Campbell, before Jesus even showed up on the scene. You crying over six months. But I've been working my business for two months and it ain't happened. Baby, 700 years. You talking my perspective, Donna? Yeah. We, hey, do me, do me a favor. I'm, I'm trying to go. Get in your word. Let this word reveal to you where you are. Oh, 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 oh! Now I'm good. You had a little boy, didn't you? Go home and kiss your little boy. Oh, I love you, son. Only God knows what he was doing with that. Yeah. My mother didn't know what she was doing. But having sex. But she said, uh-uh, I want my baby. What's your name, man? If she would have said no, Vincent wouldn't be sitting here. Because she said yes, yeah. there's a live going on. Yeah. 
Because she said yes. There's a wake and bake that goes on every week. Because she said yes. There's a women's class on Saturday. Because she said yes. There's 498 people done got baptized because she said yes. This city is finna shake because she said yes. Don know God because she said yes. Shema can smile about God because she said yes. Dale can clap his hand because she said yes. Sister Camel can stand up because she said yes. Uh, 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 Melvin can come work for me because she said yes. Matt get to be a part of a ministry from the ground up because she said yes. You get saved. You get saved. You get saved. You get saved. Don't you know people hate on her? Don't you know people envy her? Don't you know people have violence toward her? But if it had not been for the Lord on our side, I don't know where we would be. And without him, there would be no us. You gotta have haters. It's necessary that people envy you. It's necessary for people to have malice towards you. Because it ain't you that they're against. They struggle with what God doing in your life. They're struggling with what God, and now here you are trying to smoke a blunt to calm down what they said. Bump them people. <laughs> they don't like me. <laughs> you don't have to get high. God like you. As nasty as you are, Veronica, he love you. He can't love you no less than he already love you, baby. Quit hiding behind people. Quit hiding behind what you ain't doing, what you ain't saying. Go on, live your life. God came here saying, I said, you need to go get you a drink. Why? Until God take that drink from you, you're going to struggle. Don't come in here shaking, wasting that stuff all over my floor. I'd rather you drink and be real with yourself and let God take that from you. Then you come here perpetrating like you ain't doing nothing and you're sitting there losing your mind. Now we laughing at you. That's some stuff I ain't even bugging God about. I'm, no, God, we ain't worried about that, don't we? No, we good, we good. God. Oh, God, listen. Uh, hey, listen, God. We, we, mm -mm, mm -mm. Shall we pray? Not about that. I'm not through. I ain't even through yet. I ain't even finna bug God. See, that's called being real with yourself. Lord, here I am. I am a wretch undone. I ain't going to be praying nothing over vanilla ice cream when I got two gallons in my refrigerator. I'm not even going to play with God like that. And you know what we're doing? We're praying with God. And watch this. <laughs> you way out there in the left field and God got you. Come on, y'all. Come on. You way out there in left field, and God is still keeping you because he knows what that left field play going to produce. When I think about it, in my heart, the goodness of Jesus. And all he's doing for me. Lord, how I thank you. Because you still look at me, you my fault. Oh, come on, y'all. We don't even know what. Lord, you still look at me, you my faults, and still meeting every one of my needs.
you showing me every day that you truly love me. So when I know you love me, I can love myself. Because you love me just as I am. And then when I understand that God loves me and I love myself, then and only then can I love you. See, the love you're giving is fake if you ain't in love with God or yourself. It don't hold up. It's lust. Love says, baby, I'm so in love with him. He, he puts so much into me. I'm just so, I'm, 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 a, I'm miraculous because of him. So then I realized just how valuable I am. So I love me some me. And because he loved me, I love me, I'm going to love you in spite of what you think of me. You got a week in the mirror. But you, so, you showed us somebody special. God, you did your thing when you made Then God said, I'm Don, when he made you, he threw the motor away. He said, you, I'm not giving you. You ain't going to be able to duplicate this dude. Big nose, I got a big brain up here. I need all the oxygen I can get. There's a lot of thinking going on up here. See, some of y'all do this and y'all you're about to fall over because your brain. I need all he stuffed all mine in there. He did you too. You don't need a man to validate you. You don't need a woman to validate you. God has validated you when he created you. Quit giving these knuckleheads that much, that much power. Go sit down, boy. When you have a dream, that comes from God. For it to give birth, for him to give birth through it, he has to send haters. And he has to have people that get that re, that get mad when you succeed and rejoice when you fail. You gotta have them people. See, the fact that they know it's there. See, the vision, he said, right there. Listen, he, 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 he was enthused. C can I prove it to you? When Jesus came, they didn't know what it was, but they knew it was something. He said, I came to do the will of him that sent me. It ain't about me. Not my will, but I, I come to do what he sent me to do. And they lost their mind. That's why they get mad at Carla when she walking here real short. They get mad when she walks. Who she thinks she is? She said, I'm wrong with it. She free. <laughs> Boy, when you free ain't much, you sit there talking about it. Show will, honey, take time. Do you think, chicken wine? Anybody free in here? Amen. The Bible says, he who the sun sets free is he who the sun sets free. It's free indeed. What does it mean? You can't go back. Can't nobody lock you back up. You've been bought. He paid for you. You ain't yours no more. You healed. Hey, Margie, I need you to live on. With that, that lung transplant. So when people start to have a hard time breathing, they can say, wait a minute. God can give you breath when you can't breathe. Come here, Sister Walton. She got baby lungs. She's not breathing through her lungs. 
I can't give a lung transplant. They don't work. So how's she breathing? And there are people said, oh, she lying. She, she can breathe. No, you ain't there, homie. God is miraculously working through that woman. They were preparing for the husband to take care of her, and she died. Hell, he died. And she's still rocking. Not saying she don't miss Brother Walter, but you can't peg God. Get her shot on too, boy. I'm telling you. So that hand up and go to shot, and she's still still driving. You don't even know the shot. She got her her praises for real. Amen. After why yours ain't for real? After all God done done for you, you won't praise Him. After all God done said to you, done to you, worked through you, you won't praise Him. Cause you worried about what people say or think. Here's what happened. I got to go. foolish things to confound the wise. I'll use her because she uh, Angela Black is confusing the world. And, and, here, and, here's, and here's, here's what you see. Here, here's Great woman. People just, people just didn't handle her right. And when you find someone to handle her right, that goodness comes back out. Now I'm just using her. anyone. You women are not women are not bad. Women that just you just made them callous because you didn't handle them right. And when someone comes back and starts handling them right, they go back to that tender person, that soft person that they really are. And most of the thing that hurts you is the thing that will heal you. Mostly men hurt women, boys hurt women, and men heal them. A believer, yeah. I said, if you might, if you know, you say, hold your head up and start learning how God rose and quit getting all 
quit getting all bent out of shape. Baby, this is how God do it. Yeah. This is how God roll. Because yeah. eyes have not seen. Yeah. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered done the hearts of man the good things that God have in store for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Steps to greatness. Hatred. Envy. Next week we're going to talk about violence. Because some of y'all are pretty violent. Want to fight and hit. Want to kill. But all that's part of it too. Because when you when you stand your ground God shows up when you stand when you stand your ground can I in God he'll show up and those that are trying to create hurt on your life they the one that's helping you heal they're the one that's taking you higher anybody ready to go higher I mean come on anybody ready to go higher see y'all we should be expecting to go higher in God He's not just telling us this to tell us this. He's telling us this to prepare us to keep going higher in him. Amen? I'm going to quit. This stuff be real to me. It make you just sit there and say, wow. Is there one today that don't know Jesus? It's going to worship and give it now. Amen. Y'all remember when all these boys was getting together, they all was nappy headed? Yeah. And, and, and college cuts, now all of them got trees. Boy, you can't tell them nothing. They got this, they got the little old uh, tennis shoes on, but you can't tell them nothing. Boy, look at them. All of them bad. Them boys know God, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if they call him, but they know him. Thank you, So, this evening at 2 o'clock, uh, I will be over at uh, Unmerited Favor, right off of Ann Arbor in uh, Bunnyview, uh, preaching their uh, church anniversary. So, we're going to be there at 2.30, uh, 2.30. 2.30 at American Favor. He called it at 2.30. Give y'all... No, 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 no. 
Man, y'all got one out in a year. Get, get, get in there. We're going to hear Reverend Go help them worship God. Amen. Amen. You know how you be thinking they're going to not have it? Don't they call every year? You ain't getting out of this. So I quit trying. Pray for the option party of the church. A lot of people are out. Let's pray. Father God, we come and say thank you for the gifts. Best of givers. Pray and ask to be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Where my certificate at? Laura Holmes. <laughs> wow. Uh, Laura Holmes was baptized. Let me, let me say something. Robert came over here uh, as a consultant. Right. You know Melvin. Yeah. Was it 12 years ago? Right? 12 years ago. Yeah. To come look at our sound. Yeah. I, I eulogized his wife and baptized his granddaughter. Right. Right. And his wife picked me. Get that boy. Get him to Get him to eulogize me. Amen. We love Melvin. Yeah. We family. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fight come behind Melvin. Yeah. She used to wouldn't say nothing. She talk now. <laughs> we trying to act all quiet and stuff. Hey, hey, she ain't fooling me. Get on the way here. <laughs> this certifies that Laura Holmes is baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. On the 18th day of February 2024, President yeah. Missionary Baptist Church of Grande and Robert Timmons. Amen. Amen. Let's give it up for Lara. Love you, baby. Woohoo! Won't he do it? Won't he do it? 498. Y'all might remember that. Uh, in, uh, if you're a guest here for the first time, just stand up, let us say hi to you. You ain't got to say nothing. Just stand up, let us just say hi to you. Y'all just, let's give them some pleasure here, love. Yeah. Amen. Uh, we're going to commune on our way out. Amen. Has everyone been served? Yeah. Amen. Now, next Sunday, next Sunday, uh, we have a morning service. Uh, Reverend uh, McIntosh will be preaching. Uh, I will be over at uh, 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 what's the name of that man church? Uh, oh, Pinnell Missionary Baptist Church. Now, now here's the deal. That service starts at 10.30. I'll be over there. Then we're coming back to this church because Q is having his thing next Sunday, right? The Taste of Soul. Ain't that next Sunday? Yeah. 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 You done change it? It was supposed to be, but see, we got singers that's going to be out. Next week? Yeah, can we do it the first Sunday? Yeah, well, that's cool. When we, 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 we get through with morning service, we're done. Woo. Next Sunday. So, so we all come, the, we all come first Sunday? Yeah. We coming whenever, baby. Yeah. We're going to have free food. They said we coming to eat. <laughs> but at the end of it. Amen. Everyone been served. Look at everybody talking about, yes, God. Hallelujah. Now, that's going to be a sample. It's a taste, not a meal. You might get a, a hey, you, hey, you might get a real bite, not a whole rib, okay? Man won't get with Don, but he got some killer fish. Don got that killer fish for him. I don't know where you get them hush puppies from. They got corn in there. Oh, he laughing at that. I said, boy, my own was long enough. I just want to slap him. <laughs> Amen. Everyone been served? On that night.
as we sit at the table for the last time. Jesus took a piece of bread and broke it. He said, this bread is a representation of my body, which is broken for you. As often as you eat this, eat this in remembrance of me. Shall we eat? Yes, God. Then he took a cup. He said, this cup is symbolic of my blood, which was shed for remission of sin. As often as you drink this, drink this in remembrance of me. Shall we drink? Amen. And listen, listen, listen. Today we're going to do what they did. As we take these uh, cups up, we're going to leave here with a word of prayer and fellowship. Amen. Amen. Shh, shh, shh. We're still in worship. We're going to leave here hugging and high-fiving and praising God that we've made it another day. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh! I put it up on. Uh, just look at "Unmarried in Favor." It's on Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor and uh, Bonnie View, forty-four twenty Bonnie View. Shall we stand? I'm going to pray, and we're going to leave fellowshipping and hugging and loving on each other. Amen. Father God, we come to say thank you for this time. Thank you for this word. Thank you for these, your people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, ma'am and sir. You are excused.